Hi everyone, this is Ian from Action Language at Action Foundation. I'm joined today by one of our volunteers, Gary. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Um, so Gary's joining me to talk about some kind of safety outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. And this actually relates to um, one of Gary's previous lives, doesn't it, Gary? That's right, yes. I was for many years a member of Glossop Mountain Rescue Team. And so I, uh, I've i seen people get into difficulty on the hills for various reasons. Okay, and this is one of the uh, topics we're going to talk about today. So in the, in the good weather, so it's summer 2021 at the moment, uh, you might decide that you want to go out and explore. And here in the north of England, we've got the Northumberland National Park, um, where you can walk for miles and there's kind of more, there's hills, there's places to go rock climbing, there's the Roman Wall, Hadrian's Wall. And if you go a bit further south, of course, we've got the um, North Yorkshire National Park as well. But you need to be prepared, you need to be ready. And one of the important things is to think about what shoes um, you're going to wear. Um, Gary, have, did you come across this as a problem uh, when you were in mountain rescue? Yes, I did. Um, the most common problem was footwear. And most accidents happen to people when they're coming down the hill and they haven't got uh, enough grip. So you have to have uh, good walking shoes or boots uh, so you don't slip over um, and people who were wearing sandals for example or flip-flops even would take a nasty fall going down usually <laughs> so uh, really important and if you're going somewhere that's really quite rocky you need boots to protect your ankles Okay, so yeah, walking boots for going walking. Now, of course, walking boots um, are very expensive to buy new, mm. um, yeah. but often you can find them in charity shops at very good prices, I think, you know, for kind of $3.99, $4.99. So perhaps if you want to go walking in one of these areas, do try looking in some of the charity shops and you might find um, mm. a good pair of walking boots in your size. Gary, if someone has a problem and they're, they're out walking, perhaps, um, you know, they've fallen and hurt their ankle and find it difficult to walk, or perhaps they're feeling a bit strange, maybe they didn't take enough water to drink and they're a bit dehydrated or they have something we might call sunstroke, um, what should they do? Well, it depends on the situation. If I, mean, I would advise people to go with at least one other person, uh, it's not always practical. Uh, if you're on your own, then do take a mobile phone with you and you dial 999 and ask for mountain rescue. And what happens then is you will speak to somebody very experienced and they will find out what's happened and they will either tell you what to do if they think you can help yourself or... They'll say, stay where you are, we'll be with you as soon as possible. Okay, so that's really important to know that if you call 999, it's not just um, fire, ambulance and police. Um, you can um, get uh, mountain rescue and also I think um, the Coast Guard as well, the Coast Guard for if you're yes, you can, uh, by yeah. the sea. Um, and also, I believe, so sometimes there might be a problem with a signal um, in wild places, but often you mm. will see on your phone emergency only. And I think mm. that means that you can contact uh, the emergency services. You just can't make other calls. Yeah, that that's true. The, it's a big thing with mobile um, blind spots, as they're called. Um, I know where I used to uh, work, walk on in in Derbyshire sometimes you didn't have to go very far to get some sort of service it was um, but obviously if you can't move that's not an option so the other thing I always advise people to do is tell somebody where you're going tell them your route 
and tell them what time you expect to be back. So if you can't get a mobile phone signal and there's nobody else on the hill, somebody will raise the alarm if you don't get back. It's, a, it, it, it's an extreme situation, but it can be important. Yeah, but that's really good to know. So yes, sometimes, particularly um, in, in our part of the UK, the mobile phone coverage is not brilliant. Um, it tends to be higher up, you get a better signal. Lower down mm. is, is probably the problem where the hills probably get in the way um, of the signal. Mm. But yeah, that's really good advice to let somebody know kind of where mm. you're going and how long you plan to be there. If you decide that you're going to sleep out on the hills in the hot weather, mm -hmm. then that's up to you. But to let somebody know that that's your plan. Yeah, sure. All right. And, and Gary, do you have any uh, anecdotes about your time in mountain rescue to share with us? Well, I suppose uh, this is some of the, the um, classic mistakes people make. Um, one is um, going on the hills on a beautiful sunny day without any form of waterproof clothing. So you have to understand, particularly on high ground, moorland, the weather can change very quickly. And if you get wet and it's windy, you will get cold very, very fast. So uh, it's not just comfort, it's safety too. So that's one classic, just seeing the bright sun and going in shorts and t-shirts and it's not enough if, if the weather turns nasty, which it can. Um, another classic, I've had this a few times, is people going without a torch. And again, it's particularly on moorland, it can be difficult to find your way. So you won't necessarily come down as quickly as you think you're going to. And once it goes dark, if you haven't got a torch your problems are really quite big because it's quite tricky to find your way, sometimes even in daylight. So that is really, really important. And um, I suppose the third one is something you mentioned before, Ian, food and drink. So the people get into difficulty with dehydration or simply not eating enough <laughs> once once you've exhausted your energy supplies it's surprising with that and dehydration just how quickly you lose your strength and your ability to think clearly so take plenty with you um in your rucksack yeah that's that's really good advice Okay, so thank you, Gary, and everyone, I hope this has been useful. Please don't be afraid about going out into the wild areas. It's a, we have wonderful places, especially this time of year, and you can see a lot of wonderful wildlife. Um, but do be careful. Um, remember the tips here. And below, you will see a link um, to some information from the Northumberland National Park. Um, so that will be useful if you're planning on going out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.